Hello, I am the PC expert amateur. <clears throat> and uh, this time around, we're going to take a look at the Gelid Solutions Stella Infinity 120 millimeter dual ring ARGB fan. Dual ring because it's got uh, eight lights in the hub and another 16 in the frame or the ring outside there. Ah, my finger, it doesn't want to go the, the right way because, well, anyways, there, that thing. I'm trying to do it while my brain is saying, go the opposite way. Yeah, it's just not easy. Um, let's see. So, like I said, 24 ARGB LEDs, and that's two, two rings inside and outside. Um, noiseless motor. It says 0 dB. I doubt that. Infinite mirror, 500 to 1600 RPMs addressable RGB. We are, yeah, we already know that. And uh, let's see. Well, let's take a look at it. Sounds good, right? It's been such a long time since I did this. All right. And. Uh, there are actually two layers of plastic on this hub. I only took off the blue layer, so there's still another clear layer there. You can see there are grooves in the um, fan blades, and those grooves are on both the inside and the outside of the fan blade. Different blades from the Stella, and also nine as opposed to seven blades. And whereas the Stella has ball bearings, uh, this one has uh, hydraulic or hydrodynamic bearings and then you can see only one side has got the Stella Infi or the infinity thing there unfortunately I wish you know there were more but uh, we'll live it also has cushioning on the corners and it's PWM and also it has ARGB with an extra connector for daisy chaining because you know a lot of motherboards only come with say one ARGB header and that makes it really hard for people who want to have lots and lots of useless I mean sorry pretty lights um, and that's pretty much it so let's take a look at this uh, well take a listen that I should say but before we do that I want to remember to show you the lighting because it would be a shame if I do this and totally forget to show you the lighting after I fiddled to get it all working. Let me just uh, shut off that light for a minute. And I would say that the colors are a bit washed out on the sc my screen at least, but it's not too far away from the correct as you can see this is um, not been designed to hide the positioning of the LEDs but it does do a pretty good job of smoothly transitioning the colors I guess I'll just leave that on for the moment Listen closely, though. You know, if it's zero decibel, gosh. That started up right away. That's. I hear a little tick, tick, ticking, but. It'll be the bearings, I suppose. Now I can hear the fan itself blow, blowing air. Bit of a hum now. little bit of harmonics that bearing is getting louder and we've already reached the maximum 1600 rpms so it is pretty quiet but that's only because it only goes to 1600 rpms and it is kind of pretty 
although it doesn't have the intensity of color that I would <coughs> like to see, it's pretty darn good, especially for the price tag. Oh, I guess you want to see my ugly mug again, don't you? All right, now let's uh, do the comparison. <coughs> Sorry, I'm trying to get over a cold. And here we go. You can already hear the Noctua. Now it doesn't have the ticking sound from the bearings that the Stella does, but it's definitely louder. bearings are nothing remarkable they stop pretty quickly all right so what can we use this fan for well with a maximum of static pressure of only 1.3 you could put it on a heat sink you could use it on your case um, but aside from that you know I, I would not use it on a radiator on a water cooling system at all because it's just not got the power for it and you know you'd just be wasting your time doing that really um, so yeah that's that's pretty much all that I want to say about that so let's go ahead and take a look at the data <coughs> And as you can see, the Stella Infinity Dual Ring ARGB Fan, or FN Stella 03, has um, <clears throat> black with gray rubber corners, white translucent frame, um, or sorry, blades, and it's only a $12 fan. So it's pretty reasonable. Made in China, it's certified CE and ROHS, 120 by 25. I don't know how many uh, hours before it fails. I would imagine it's going to be <laughs> probably about 50, but it has a three-year warranty, 24 ARGB LEDs, 150 grams approximately, uh, nine blades. Now, keep in mind that the uh, Noctua has a, a MTBF of over 150,000 hours and a six-year warranty. Of course, then again, the Noctua is a lot more expensive. It's also 50 grams heavier, and they both have the same number of blades. Sorry, my body said I need water. And minimum speed of 500, maximum of 1600 RPMs, maximum airflow of 70 uh, cubic feet per minute, maximum static pressure of 1.3 millimeters of water, Maximum noise of 35 decibels, which I'm going to say is not cor correct. I'm going to say it's a lot lower than that since it's not as noisy as the Noctua. The fan's cable is 53 centimeters long. It's not daisy chainable. It's not sleeved. The LED cable is 57 centimeters long. It is daisy chainable, but not sleeved. It's a PWM fan with ARG standard ARGB connector. Uh, hydro, uh, hydrodynamic bearing, 12 volts, 5 watts, and 1.9 amps for the LEDs, 5 volts, <clears throat> and 5 watts, and 0.73 amps. There are no indicators of rotation, but it rotates in a clockwise manner. Um, also, no indication of flow. You get four screws and the corner cushions, and that's all there is to it. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Please like, subscribe, and share.